restructuring. Moody's downgraded the country's rating by two levels to CA, the second lowest um, score at the ratings agency. The latest score puts Ghana in the same category with Sri Lanka, uh, which is in default. The downgrade is on the back of government's plans to restructure both local and foreign debts announced in the 2023 budget, according to Moody's statement. And it looks as though this concern about whether or not there's going to be a haircut has come back strongly to buy government because there seem to be various positions shared from the president to his ministers, all giving different scenarios of what haircut even means to them and who would be affected. That is, if they finally decide to go down with it. And it looks as though they will have to uh, undertake that path of a haircut, which is uh, at the back of what Moody's is saying, uh, referring to uh, Ghana currently as having a further downgrade. So, Sani Abdul Rahman is with three business here at Media General. He's joined us for a quick chat on what exactly this even means. Sani, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Um, we have started some negotiations. In fact, Ghana finds itself here because some of these rating agencies had downgraded us badly and we are struggling to get ourselves together. Now a further downgrade. What does that mean to our effort to get back on track? Well, essentially, we, we need to appreciate where this whole latest rating is coming from. Uh, on September 30, Moody's downgraded Ghana to CAA, and that was when the announcement came that the, there will likely be a debt restructuring as part of government's plan to seal the deal with the IMF. And, of course, uh, there have been confirmation since then. In Parliament, we heard from Deputy Finance Minister John Kuma, even though later there was a statement from the finance ministry clarifying what the deputy minister sought to put out. But essentially, uh, the investor community is aware that they are likely to incur losses. The deputy minister gave figures to the tune of 30%, and some may even have to forego their interest uh, that they are expecting government to pay to them as a result of what they have given to government in terms of borrowing and, and that stuff. Mm. So that has prompted Moody's to now affirm that what led to the initial downgrade to CAA, government has confirmed. And that is why this latest rating has come. Mm -hmm. But essentially, if you want to understand what the implications would be, it's further going to make the situation worse for government. Government has already indicated that in 2023, it is not returning to the capital market because access will not be there. Mm -hmm. uh, but government needs to put the debt levels and debt situation within a sustainable manner for it to secure a deal with the IMF. So essentially, government has no choice than to embark on this debt restructuring, which will result in losses. And once investors will incur losses, mm. it means they will have to punish you for the losses they have to incur for the fault of... Not being their not, fault. Yes, yes, yeah. it's on your side. It's coming from your side. Yeah. And they are to incur losses as a result of that. And that essentially is why the... Uh, Moody's agency is downgrading us further, telling investor community that uh, this country is closer to the default position. Mm. So even if you are going to lend to the country, the premium has to be quite higher. Yeah. And, and so what does that do to the current fight? Would it affect the negotiations we're having with the IMF in any way? Or this is just going to be a conversation between um, government and the investor community? Well, essentially it's what the IMF is expecting the country to do because if your debt level is not sustainable and you need to bring it to a sustainable level and the fact that your revenue position is not good and the fact that also your interest payment obligation is very high, uh, inflation also has worsened the situation, the currency depreciation has led to government paying more in mm. terms of its interest obligation. Mm. So the IMF is expecting government to embark on such an exercise so that the debt level will certainly draw down and that will give an indication that uh, it can be brought back to a sustainable level, which is a key determinant before the IMF can grant Ghana the program we are seeking. Right. And beyond Fitch, um, Moody's downgrade, have we heard from the other rating agencies or this is likely to trigger other rating agencies to further downgrade us as well? Uh, essentially, we are not being pessimistic, but once you admit that you are embarking on a debt restructuring mm. and you give the indication that lenders will suffer losses as a result of your program, it means the, uh, the Fitch, Moody's and S&P, of course, will follow suit mm. from what we've seen from Moody's last night and also further downgrade you to tell the investor community 
you are closer to a distressed position. So whoever is lending funds to you may have to be careful. Careful. And, and finally, so you and I are investors in Ghana. We are not necessarily foreign investors. Um, has government been able to clarify whether it's foreign debts that will be, or foreign bonds that will be affected or just local investors? Well, it's both uh, CD denominated bonds and of course the euro bonds and other bonds that mm. the country uh, have been issuing. So essentially, if you are into the bonds uh, segment of the market, you will be incurring some losses as a result of this excess. Even though we've had no haircut from the president, we've had yeah. clarifications from the information minister and the rest of the government officials, but it is uh, clear that that will not be the position. Investors will certainly uh, incur some losses as a result of the debt restructuring program, which again is key before Ghana can secure a deal, a, a deal with the IMF. And we know the IMF is, is in town. Government is uh, hastening to achieve or secure a staff level agreement by the end of the year yeah. and we know that has been the very part of the conversation that has delayed the whole process of granting Ghana mm. a program making the debt situation sustainable okay. so government has no choice than to embark on this path it's crazy. no matter what happens there will be a haircut and that's why we are being downgraded uh, we can't tell whether it to be shaving or not <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you very much